I went on a motorcycle trip in August 2022, just before the Independence Day long weekend. I rode out from Udupi on a Thursday on my KTM 390 adventure. My destination was Somwar Pet, a town in the district of Kurg, also known as the Scotland of India. From there, I was to ride on to Mysore. A motorcycle journey in the monsoon season is an adventure in itself. But there were moments when I questioned my choice of transport. Situated on the slopes of the Western Ghats, Somwar Pet is popular for its homestays. I wasn't particularly interested in staying in one. I had already de-stressed my life by moving out of Bangalore earlier in the year. I booked a hotel at Somwar Pet for one night with the intention of seeing a few waterfalls in the vicinity. It started to rain pretty heavily as soon as I left home at 6am. I was well prepared for it though. I had rain wear to protect myself and my clothes and photography gear were in dry bags. By the time I reached Mangalore, the rain had stopped. However, the highway from Mangalore to Puttur was in a terrible condition with potholes and slush due to the expansion of the highway. This route sees heavy truck traffic. I had muck all over me and I began to wonder if this monsoon ride was a good idea at all. Soon, I exited the national highway and entered the state highway towards Subramanya. The roads got better and the scenery got prettier as I was getting closer to the mountains. The fun part of the ride began at Bisley Ghat where seasonal rivers flowing near the road looked really beautiful. I got off the saddle and took breaks next to the pristine waters. After the Bisley Ghat viewpoint, it started to rain heavily, so I kept riding till Somwar Pet. The plan was to check in, have lunch, and take a short break before heading out to see places in my itinerary. But the rains got heavy and I got cozy in my room, so I did not step out that evening. When I woke up the next morning, there were no rains. It wasn't much to go by because the weather changes pretty quickly in the Ghats. I left the hotel at 6 am and went to the first waterfall known as Abhimatta. It wasn't far from town. I was riding on an empty road, enjoying the carpet of green around me when I suddenly spotted a beautiful silver cascade tumbling down from the forest. Abhimatta Falls looked magical even from a distance. I parked my bike and took a few aerial shots. I wanted to get closer to the water, so I asked a curious local boy who was watching me. Based on the information he gave, I decided to save the trek for another day because I was short on time. I also decided to skip Malali Falls because it was in a different direction. Next, I rode towards a small town deep inside Kurg known as Suralabi. On the way, I found so many beautiful locations where I stopped and enjoy the pristine views. A few locals were curious about my presence, confirming that this part of Kurg wasn't well known to tourists. The incessant drizzle kept me company as I navigated through empty foggy roads.
When I reached Surala B, I was blown away by the sight of the gushing water. A sheet of white originated from the mountain slope beside the road and continued to flow under the bridge. I had literally parked at the feet of the waterfall. There were no tourists around and I enjoyed my time clicking photos of the place. By 10 am it was time to leave because I was yet to have breakfast and I was also supposed to check out from the hotel by noon. Given a chance, I would have spent the rest of the day at Suralabi Falls. I resisted the urge to stop at so many places on my ride back to Somwar Pet. Once I reached, I checked out of the hotel, had lunch and headed out to my next destination which was Mysore. My motorcycle ride through Kurg was exciting and refreshing. And those moments of doubt were put to rest thanks to my very capable KTM 390 and some preparedness from my end. <laughs>